Hello and welcome back to the Spiegel Mom Scraps channel and welcome back to my channel. And I am thrilled to be here today with you with another Sparkler DT project. And this one is fun. Now, as you know, it's July and in July I am also playing along with the off the board with pineapple papers with my lovely friend Crystal and many, many of our friends where we are getting those pins off our boards and used as inspiration for layouts. Now, I'm not combining this per se because I do have my off the board and build a page layout up on my channel, but in the spirit of the month of using pins, and because I missed uh, Friday, I think, I thought I would still use a pin because you can see the pin up there in the corner. And last month when I was trying to get my pins organized and ready, as soon as I saw that fun shape using buttons, I straight away knew that I needed to get that on a page, but with sequins and make these fun, fun little starbursts. And at the end of the video, I'll put close-ups of them, but I'm just going to raise this here so that you can see as well. And they are so much fun to make and they are so easy. I love matching sequin mixes, the colors in the sequin mixes to my pattern papers, which I, I'm sure most of you love to do as well. So I went rummaging through. I have this lovely paper, um, stripe paper, which is a very, very old paper from Scraptastic. I think this goes back to maybe 2014. But, you know, these are versatile stripes. They are in many, many collections. Sometimes they're on a diagonal, sometimes they're stripes. And of course, I could have done this horizontally but I liked the stripes going vertically. So I pretty much did just a half and half and then put a navy strip across to give me a, an anchor and a shelf. And I used some white cardstock. Now my normal would be, and I still might go back, so down below let me know what you think and do a little bit of doodling. All right, I think inking would be too heavy, but maybe just a quick, outline around the top. I do have a little bit of trouble with just these sort of naked white edges on my white cardstock for some reason. Anyway, so I got my papers down and then that sort of made me decide where I wanted to put these lovely starburst embellishments. I wanted three and I wanted, as I always do, a little bit of my triangle uh, shape. So I decided to put one here, one here, and one here. Now, in hindsight, I think I might have liked this one just a touch askew, but that's in hindsight. And, and I do love the way it happens. So basically, I just took my photo. This, this is of my grandnieces, and you've seen these before. My Julia was graduating from high school, and this is her older sister who is graduating from college as well. So I got the photo mounted um, and matted here and put up on foam and decided roughly where I wanted to put it, then put that aside and created my three lovely embellishments. So the only thing I did for those is I have this lovely little bowl of buttons on my desk. Isn't that fun little eye candy? I have my sequins stored in bowls as well. So I think I've shown that to you before. I'll try and remember to put it at the end where I have all my lovely sequins and buttons and um, twines in lovely colors that I can look at whenever I look at my bookcase. And I got three buttons. So one in sort of the magenta red color here and two beautiful aqua buttons so that all three buttons would be the same and not too large and quite flat so that in a way they would mimic a little bit 
the sequins you can even see here they have that little circular shape that some of our flat sequins have so I chose them very specifically to go with sequins then I went into my stash now I don't think unfortunately any of these specifics that I'm using today are still available in the shop but there are so many gorgeous ones over there so don't forget my affiliate link is down below use that to get over to the shop it won't cost you any more and you can still use my code moira15 to get your 15 percent discount and there's some gorgeous ones over there i've got a couple of the strawberry um dream mixes in my cart the new patina of course that that matches the tim holtz uh color that's in my cart so pop on over and get, because they, they really, really do uh, sell out very, very quickly. They, they are so gorgeous, no wonder. So I took, so my idea then would be to use different size sequins to create my lines. So I used three different sizes for the straight up and straight across lines, and then an even smaller size in here just with two to create that extra little area so you see here i'm going to try and get that up close for you so the button then the larger size medium size and smaller size and then an even smaller size for just these two little in between to finish it all off and i love it so i went in to Ariel's tail and I love this sort of iridescent bluey indigo so I used the larger ones on this one and this one and it goes perfectly with these lovely aqua buttons then I got from let me see is it maybe toes in the sand hmm. these lovely just aqua large ones I went into wine country of course to get uh, some of these lovely red in the two tones. See, this is more of a bit of a burgundy red, and this one is a clear or close to cherry red that I felt was a little bit brighter and looked nice down here, and then the very small sort of navy. And then I got these beautiful yellow, buttery beautiful yellow from Summer Paradise. And if you don't have Summer Paradise, if you go and look at the lemon zest, you'll get some beautiful lemony colors and yellows in there as well. And I made these gorgeous, gorgeous starbursts. If you would like a tutorial, if you'd like to see me make one of these live with you, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and I will come and do a short video just making that. I felt it was a little bit long to come on here and do that as part of the layout as you would just be watching me glue sequins but if you would like to see a tutorial just on making one of these please please don't hesitate leave me a comment down below so once i had those there then the rest was just filling in so i went into my toes in the sand and i got these lovely this was designed by my lovely friend crystal from pineapple papers the wine country is designed by sarah scraps of course so that's always fun. I always love using mixes designed by either my fellow DT members or my lovely scrappy friends. And I got the butterflies. So I popped those there. Uh, and then I just proceeded to get my Simple Story Sunkissed. And I got a few stickers. So Make a Splash, Live, Love, Laugh, this fun little hat. I mean... It's nowhere close to a grad hat. There was no grad hats because with COVID there, there are no graduation gowns or hats up here this year. There is a little bit of a ceremony. Um, there had not been anything last year, so it's fun that at least she was able to get a little bit of uh, a prom type ceremony. But I put a little hat there anyway, just because I thought it filled in this little area perfectly. I put this little cocktail here because it was a celebration and it fit with this embellishment here and then that left me this beautiful little area here for 2021 blue skies ahead and a lovely area to get one of my dotty about flare flare pieces as i'm trying to get on all my layouts this month 
Then, oh, happy day and sweet life. Just sort of fill this beautiful area. Another flare here. And there you have it. Now, I did find that the white was just a little too stark. So I did go back with some Heidi Swap Color Shine in teal and just did a little bit of splattering everywhere around. And I think that finishes it. It's round like the sequins. And I just love this layout. And I love it when ideas in your head translate, you know. So I saw that pin. I knew this is exactly what I needed to do. And I love it. So thank you so, so much for joining me. Don't forget to use my code Moira15 over in the shop. Don't forget to come back here on the Spiegel Mom Scraps channel often. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And over on my YouTube channel as well. And to get to the shop, just use my affiliate link down below. Thank you for being here. Bye for now, my friends.